Hey guys, Roman Tressa here with Peak Fitness, and today guys, I wanna to talk to you about what you can do to help prevent injuries. So like I stated in the introduction guys, today I wanna to talk to you about what you can do to help prevent injuries. Now guys, if you are new to this fitness world, I got some bad news for you. If you stay with it long enough, um, you're gonna get injured. It's just inevitable. Even the best of the best get injured. And most of the time, our injuries that we that happen to us are very preventable. So I wanna tell you guys some things that you can do to help prevent them from happening. And then towards the end, I will tell you guys some things you can do if you have been injured, what you can do to help uh, speed up the recovery process. So the first thing I wanna talk about to help prevent injuries is doing mobility drills. Now, a mobility drill is simply as it sounds. You are going to work a particular body, let's say you're gonna work shoulders and, or chest or anything like that, you wanna go ahead and start doing some kind of mobility drills where you are going to uh, use those joints lightly without any type of, of strain. So spinning, like I said, doing some type of arm rotations, you know, doing crossovers and all these things like that. What that's gonna do is, is not only is it going to kinda of like grease the wheel, if you will, it's going to allow the joints to kinda of get lubricated up you know, because if you're stagnant, your body is not going to put lubrication where it doesn't need it, but it's going to allow it to lubricate up a little bit better. And also what it's going to do is it's going to start warming up the muscles in that particular area, opening up the vascular system so that way it will allow more blood and oxygen to get to those muscles and it's going to help prevent any type of injury because you're going to have the proper nutrients get into it, more oxygen, and because the muscles are starting to warm up, it'll be able to, uh, it won't be a sudden shock to a cold muscle. So mobility drills are great. You're gonna to wanna to do mobility drills on just about everything. Arms, neck, back, hips, legs, everything. Do mobility drills. So if you're doing a leg day, do mobility drills on your hips, arms, you wanna do it on your shoulders, you know, and also like your elbows, wrists. You know, like I said, chest, you wanna focus on doing your shoulders again and part of your back. So just everything, all right? It's gonna help prevent a lot of injuries later on down the road. Your body will thank you for it. Now, another thing you can do, kind of tying into the mobility drills, is a warm up. Now, warm up, what that is, is you're wanting to raise the core temperature, your core temperature up just a little bit. You don't need, you know, we're not trying to, try to get your core temperature up to flu temperature or anything like that, but we want to increase the core temperature. The reason is, is it allows your entire vascular system to dilate, allowing more blood flow to flow through the entire body. So that way, nutrients can easily get to one body part to the next more efficiently so that way you can have a better and stronger workout. So make sure you're doing that. Now another reason you want to do a warm up is because like I stated, you're increasing your temperature. It's going to speed up your metabolism rate. So if you're looking to lose weight, that helps. But also because your muscles won't be so tight and it's not going to be a sudden strain on tight muscles to having going from Let's use a bicep curl. Biceps are good and tight. You didn't do any kind of warm up. All of a sudden, you put a, a heavy weight down the bottom. Now it's a big strain and stretch on a very tight muscle, and it's now gonna work extra hard, and you risk tearing, pulling, or, or overusing that muscle group in that particular workout. So a warm up is very good. Now warm up doesn't have to be a lot. It can be jumping in play, uh, uh, jumping jacks, running in place, jump ropes. Um, and one of my favorites is actually doing abdominal exercises. It's important that we work our core, but you can do abdominal exercises as a warm up since you use your abs literally all day long. Just to sit up straight and walk around, your core has to be engaged. So doing an ab exercise as a warm up is a great option. Now, another thing to think about actively while working out is to go ahead and do proper form. Guys, this is the biggest reason people get injured is doing proper is improper forms. We start to get tired, we get sloppy and all those things and we just start throwing the weights up and you risk injuring yourself. Proper form is going to prevent a lot of injuries. If you're not sure on what exercise to do, look them up. Talk to a personal trainer, uh, look on YouTube. You can find articles that explain a lot of things to do. That's something I'm gonna start doing for you guys to show you how to properly do certain exercises to prevent these particular injuries. So. The number one cause to injuries while working out is improper form. And a lot of times that can, improper form happens because the weight's too heavy, we're in a rush, we're just trying to go for reps, uh, and I did a lot of things. So if it's too, weight's too heavy, drop the weights. If you're in a rush, slow it down a little bit. Um, it, it, it's just, you start to get tired, go ahead and lower the weights and catch your breath, do whatever you gotta do, but that's gonna have a big reason why we, you get injured. Now, another thing, uh, that you can do is after the workout is going ahead and I'm I am guilty of this just as much as the next person is stretch after the workout 
Now, do not stretch before the workout. Do not do any static stretching before the workout. The reason being is I already told you guys, your muscles are gonna be nice and tight. A warm up is gonna loosen them up and do what they need to do. By stretching it, imagine now your, your muscles are nice and tight, you're warmed up, they're about here, right? They can handle the load. So your muscles like, they can handle the load. So let's say you're doing a 150 pound bench press. When it's like this, it can handle that. But if you stretch it out and do static stretching, you're now spacing out those uh, muscle fibers, all right, it's not gonna be able to handle that contraction of that weight. Think of a rubber band. You get a rubber band, you put a weight on the rubber band, and it will sag just a little bit, but it can handle it. Take a rubber band and go back and forth a lot until it gets nice and warm. All of a sudden, that's gonna sag a lot more. It's the same principle with your muscles. Do not do static stretching before a workout. However, do static stretching after the workout, proper stretching is going to help alleviate a lot of those tight muscles. Now, they figure you've been contracting a lot, you've been working a lot, they're tense. Now, by doing stretches, it helps relax them and it's going to help keep the flexibility. The flexibility is going to do a couple of things. By stretching it, you're allowing the, uh, again, the vascular system to stay open, allow your toxins that your body's built up, the lactic acids and all that stuff to flow out of the muscle group you just worked. Also because you opened up the vascular system again, it allows more nutrients and oxygen to get into the muscles that you did just work to help with the repair process from the micro tears and everything else that way you can get bigger and leaner. Also what's gonna do is it's gonna help with good form. If you do not stretch, you're gonna have some weird injuries that come along. For example, you're gonna have bad posture. You may notice like your chest seems to sink in instead of being nice and pulled back. Um, you're gonna notice that maybe your pelvis kicks back more uh, because you have too tight of hamstrings or too tight of quads, you know, you so see your pelvis is more rolled in. Um, you can have these things. Also, you may start having these weird joint slash bone pains. That's because your tendons are not meant to stretch, same with your ligaments, and all of a sudden they're having to and they're pulling on your bones and your muscles should be the one that should be stretching out. So stretching that's gonna help prevent all these weird uh, pains that you may feel later on. And be, some of these pains can become debilitating to a point where you cannot work out. So focus on stretching to help prevent that from happening. Now, one other thing that you can do to help prevent uh, injuries is doing a cool down. Now, a cool downs, I personally like to do nice, gentle cool downs. Now, some people like to do fast and sudden cool downs like jumping into an ice bath. Nothing wrong with it, they do have their place. Um, a lot of athletes like them, it helps uh, get you leaner, it helps boost your metabolism. Personally, me though, I like a nice, gentle cool down. Um, I don't like the sudden shock of a cold uh, bath, for example, because you can develop uh, knots because of the sudden contraction of the muscle group. Here they were super warm. Um, you can potentially uh, cause certain other uh, muscle groups, not just to contract so hard, but you can actually uh, injure ligaments and tendons. So you kind of have to be prepared for something like that. While that's really rare, it, it can happen. Personally, me, I like a nice gentle cool down. One of the best cool downs I like to do is just going for a walk. Walk for about 10, 15 minutes, let my heart rate slow back down, but I'm slowing it down enough to a point where I'm still allowing a lot of the lactic acid buildup in the muscles at work to flow through the body. And also, you know, it, it's gonna help with the recovery process. Now, let's say you did get injured uh, while working out or just after workout, what can you do? Well, first guys, if you have an external injury, like something impaled you, um, you should not be working out. Honestly, you should go ahead and be taken easy and rest up. The reason is, is that your body is already, and if you've already been to a doctor, which I highly recommend you go to a doctor and get that taken care of, you're potentially fighting infections. Your body's, uh, it's, it's already inflamed that area. You do not want to increase your blood pressure. You potentially risk reopening the wound and causing more bleeding and you don't want to have that happen. What you should be doing is nice gentle workouts if anything and I mean very light. So if you're doing curls you should be using uh, uh, elastic bands, you should be using really light weights like 5 or 10 pounds, something just so your muscles don't atrophy and then you can still get the blood flow. All right, You don't want to do anything super uh, intense where your blood pressure is going to increase causing the injury to reopen itself. Another thing you're going to do, now if it's not external, but let's say you did something like you did an exercise wrong and you injured yourself, what you need to do is go ahead and allow that muscle to recover. So if it's a pull or a tear, do not stretch that muscle group. You already overstretched it, do not stretch it, you're not going to help it. Allow it to heal. Give it a couple of days to recover. And then what you're going to want to do is, especially a lot of times people have that problem with their backs, like they tweak their back a little bit. Um, 
you're fine. You probably didn't injure your back. I have a very bad back. I have sciatica problems. And the way to know if you have sciatica problems is you're going to feel these shooting pains down your legs and sometimes in your feet. So if you don't feel any pain shooting down your legs, like through your buttocks, you know, your buttocks muscles down into your feet, um, or you're not feeling anything shoot through your shoulder and down into your hand, you probably are fine. You don't have any pinched nerve. You probably just tweaked your back, cause a weird muscle spasm. You'll be okay. Um, take the rest of the day off, recover, and actually start using those muscle groups again, you know, going very lightweight, kind of get the muscles back to loosening up to handle the weight. Within about a week or two, you'll be right back to lifting where you were at before. So for something like that. Now, if you stretch something, you pulled something, do not stretch it, do not do anything, let it rest, recover. Just because you injured a particular muscle group, let's say you injured, like I did the other day, my groin muscle. Now, um, I didn't work out, it wasn't working out, I literally went to pick something up and I just hurt my groin muscle. It was simple, so it happened to have on a leg day. So it doesn't mean I can't work out. I can still work upper body, I can still do all that stuff, abs, back, chest, arms. I wasn't even able to do legs. I just didn't work any inner uh, leg at all, all right? So I focused on doing isolating uh, exercises. I took a band, tied it to my ankle, and I did leg extensions so I can work my, uh, my thighs and my hamstrings and so on and so forth. I could still do that and so can you. If you injure a shoulder, for example, you're a little bit less limited. You don't want to swing your arm, you can't lift weights, you can't do a lot of things, but you can still do a lot of body weight exercises that are lower body and you can even do some cardio uh, type exercises and then focus on eating correctly as well and you're going to help with your recovery time. Now another thing you can do is if you get injured is to drink plenty of water. You'd be surprised how water is going to help a lot and that's because water a lot of times is going to help with inflammation, it's going to remove a lot of toxins. It's very good in helping you recover. Your body's going to need it as well as make sure you're eating right and healthy so you got the proper nutrients to get uh, into your bloodstream to help with um, the recovery. Now with that guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you got any comments or suggestions, leave them down below as well. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell for more notifications. With that guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.